Hi, welcome to Pollock's Kitchen. Today, I'm going to turn this boring can of tuna into something spectacular. Our ingredients, we have fresh lemon, some cherry tomatoes, there's about a dozen cherry tomatoes there on the vine. We have a small shallot and a handful of parsley. Extra virgin olive oil, no home can do without. And some salt for seasoning. So, firstly, the kind of tuna you choose is very important. Don't buy any old rubbish from the supermarket. Even the most popular ones like Princess and John West I find they're not very good. You might pay £2.50 for a can of tuna and it won't be as good as a £1 can of tuna. So this one here is from Aldi and it's 99p. Uh, I like mine in sunflower oil. Some people might prefer brine or spring water. I find them a bit dry. So we need one can of tuna. So we just break up the tuna in the bowl. Just so all our ingredients can absorb into it. We don't want it too mushy. So that's, um, that's the tuna done. Next, we're gonna give it a, a, a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil. Stir. This here is absolutely amazing. I went through a phase of eating this every single night for quite some time. Juice or lemon. Next, our parsley. I've already washed all the ingredients, by the way. use as much or as little parsley as you like and that goes really for all of the ingredients if you don't like parsley you don't have to use it it's totally a matter of preference I like it and it's well documented that parsley is um, is really good for reducing cholesterol apparently So all the ingredients I use in this recipe, I like to chop quite finely because I want it all to blend in. That's, that will do. That's quite a lot of parsley for one can, but I do really like it. It adds a lot of flavor and it's got an amazing aroma. Give that a quick mix. There you go. Next, we'll we'll just dice our our shallots. 
We don't need too much. We'll just go for the center and get all the nice bits. Again with the onions, we want them nice and thin, little cubes. There you go, that will do. Onion goes in, another stir, and already you're starting to smell all the ingredients come together, and it's creating quite a pleasant visual as well. There you go, bit of onion escaped. Next. We get our cherry tomatoes. These just smell gorgeous. I always get them on the vine. Because they smell amazing. So these, all we need to do is just dice them into four. If you don't cut all the way through, then they'll still stay intact. And we just slice them like that. And these are really sweet and you get, every mouthful you'll get the crunch of the onion, the flavor from the parsley, and then all of a sudden you'll bite on a, on a bit of a, a cherry tomato and get the sweet taste of it in your mouth. And it just, the whole thing is just a pleasure to eat anytime, day or night. It's obviously, each can of tuna has around 20, 25 grams of protein. So this is amazing for people that work out in the evening time, after, after a workout, you'll get all your protein from there. I mean, coupled with the tuna, um, all the other ingredients and the feta cheese in there you've got some you've got some good fats from the olive oil you've got all your protein from the feta cheese and the tuna it really is an amazing meal straight after a workout We're doing this in real time. There's no cutting, apart from the tomatoes. I mean the video. There's no, there's no edits. This is real time, just to indicate how quick and easy this is. You could literally throw this together. Let's, um, we'll, uh, we'll season tuna first. I'm using Himalayan salt. Give that a little stir. Fantastic. Now, our cherry tomatoes go straight in. We call them lovely juices.
This is truly, truly amazing. Oh, you want to smell what's coming out of this bowl is oh, smell the tomatoes, the parsley, a little bit of onion. Now, the final bit. You may think feta cheese in tuna, but just wait. Once you taste it, you will never go back. What I'll do is just cut it into two, turn it over, and then cut it all the way along in like half a centimeter pieces. It's cut across there as well. And it's cut across one, two, three, four. So what we want is little dicey pieces there you go and then finally feta cheese goes in there we go just give it a, a very light stir just to mix it all up. We don't want to crush our feta cheese. And there we are. There we are. Beautiful. Show it to our side camera. Look at that, amazing. There you go. How long did that take? Let's have a taste. Mm. So much flavor. It's amazing. Mm. Truly amazing. Anyway, thank you for joining me. And um, please like, subscribe. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care.